Hello and happy Friday to everybody. Is it Friday? I think it's Friday anyway. So, well, close enough. Close enough, I'm sure. Um, I'm here because I have mail, you know, and I haven't been. Oh, you know what? I got to show you first. Oh, I got to show you this first. Just a minute. Hang on. I got to go to that because I got it in a safe place. Here it comes. Ready for this? Open your eyes real wide. Open your eyes real wide. Look at this. Now, can you see this? Jack of Clubs. And it's got Jack Skellington or whatever his name is. Look at this. This is a diamond painting. Let me see if I can pull this up. So you can see. Oh. Look at this. Do you know how long this took to make? Not me. Nope. Janie Renteria made this and sent it to me. I cannot believe that she did this, all this work, and then sent it to me. I absolutely love it. Let me see how big is this. This is 12... It's about 14 inches by 10, 10 by 14. Now, I had this laying up on the top shelf because I'm going to take it after Christmas. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it to where they frame and I'm going to have this framed for me because this is just too beautiful not I just can't imagine all the time it took, the time. I mean, it had to, well, she said she took, she said it took three weeks. But I bet, you know, and that was her downtime, you know, and, and, um, hours, I bet, I couldn't even tell you how many hours something like this could cost. I take, I haven't done one myself. My granddaughter is doing one right now of something what is she doing oh she's doing that starry night she's doing a starry night and i bet that's going to be pretty i gotta go check on that this afternoon see how far she's gotten um but i love this i jamie rentaria honey darling you could i'm telling you when i got this and i opened it up i my heart just skipped a beat now my teeth almost fell out I was so excited. So thank you so much, Jamie, for this. And yes, it's going to get framed. I'm going to bring it and let them frame it. I've never had, had anything. I have never had anything that I thought should be professionally framed. Never. This, right away, I said, this has got to be framed. And I'm going to let them do it so that it's done well. But I love it. Thank you so much, Jamie. Now, the next thing is I've been getting, let's see, look, here I've got, oh, here I've got from Trina Willoughby, she sent me a beautiful handmade Christmas card, and within the card is an ATC, and look at that little dog. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorbs? Adorbs, is that the word nowadays? Okay, see, I am i didn't turn the um, autofocus off because I sometimes I think I want to put... Look at that little puppy dog. How adorably cute is that? And that was from Trina, and she sent me that for Christmas. She used the backside. She used a, a playing card to make that and that's beautiful so she's actually got oh she cut the paper to fit the playing card then the back of the playing card is showing and um tomorrow for my saturday special i have got a group of um i have a group together of game cards that I'm going to offer in my Saturday special, which is going to be every Saturday, a Saturday special, something, my Saturday celebration. Oh, this is from my friend Lisa Trout. 
where she sent. This girl is just amazing. She's got the little girl Harper. She's got a beautiful husband. She's a beautiful girl. Okay, she's a friend. Okay, and then from Grandma Allison walking in a winter wonderland. And look, all of her little grandchildren have signed it. Everybody has signed that. And look at that glitter on there. So pretty. And Bima. Bima sent me also. This is a handmade card. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And that's from Els. Thank you so much. That, that's beautiful. And then... This one here is a handmade postcard with mixed media. This was sent to me by none other than Beetle Chick. Look at that. Look at that for the beautiful artwork in there. And I do love that. Now this one. Oh, this one. <laughs> this one. Okay, some of these aren't subscribers. But this girl is... This was my best friend when in Minnesota. We she lived two farms away from us. And oh, she sent me a card. And oh, look at that. Rejoice. Love Susan. Oh, that's a beautiful card. That's real pretty. That's and and that's my friend that has been forever. She's been forever. She lives up in Minnesota. I haven't sent her a card yet. I've got to send her one. Oh, and from Gail. This one's from Gail. I enjoy all my Christmas cards. They're just so... Oh, and here is Handmade again. Look at that. I believe she painted this and maybe... Look, she's got a gnome Santa Christmas tree. It's a gnome Christmas tree. I bet she painted that and made copies and then made her cards. Oh, she sent me some snowflakes. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Gail. And look at these snowflakes. I love them, snowflakes. I'm going to use them, snowflakes. And then here from Tammy Wolf. Tammy Wolf sent me this here package. Cut here, she says. Okay, I will follow the directions completely. It says cut here. Let's see what's in here. How exciting. How exciting, how exciting, how exciting. But then it doesn't, oh man, let's see. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Look at all this wrapped in. Look at this on the back of the package. Unicorn. Look how pretty she decorated that. She's, she has purple that she put um, around, sprayed. And then she's got this beautiful unicorn. I love these unicorns that kind of look like pudgy. It's like baby unicorns. So pretty. Sometimes the envelopes is, well, a gift just in themselves. And then here's a card. Oh, look at the snowman and all the glitter. It's so cute, the, the Christmas cards that they make these days. Thank you for all the lovely videos. Here's wishing you and your family a merry and bright Christmas and a blessed new year from Tammy Wolf. Oh, thank you so much, Tammy. Look how cute is that. Okay. And then look in here. Oh my gosh, Tammy. And she's wrapped it. She's wrapped it in purple. Here it says, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, how cute. Oh my God. Okay, let's, oh, which one? Oh, my God, there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see here first. Oh, my goodness. Look at this here. Oh, these are like little notes with the butterflies. Look how adorable those are. 
oh, I'll be able to use these for sure in building a journal. And here are some, I think they would be re recipe cards, but of course we don't use anything the way it's supposed to be. I'm over that recipe thing. Look how cute. I can color them and write notes on them. Um, add them into like a flip out in a, in a journal. You see my nails? My friend did them for me last night. They are so pretty. And, um, and um, I said purple. She goes, oh, but it's Christmas. I want to do red. So she did red. Because I don't pay her, you know. She doesn't charge me. I have to let her do what what she wants. Okay, Lizzie, wedding invitations. If you think that they will work in your cinch books, I will send you some more. Oh. Oh, yes. These are beautiful. And I think they're exactly the same size I put in my, the one side of, size of cinch books that I do. That's beautiful. I love them. Those, thank you, Tammy. I love them. Oh, and here's some more of these cards. I love these cards. And there's so many. I love them. Oh, I will use them. And here's that. Oh, look at these houses. Oh, she's already got them separated. Look at that. That's a pretty napkin right there. That is beautiful. I've been doing a lot more napkin stuff lately. I, I'm on the I'm on, in the napkin mode. There's the, oh my. Oh my gosh, look at this paper. This is like a tissue paper, but it's all teddy bears. Can you see them, teddy bears? I don't know about my lighting or my videographing, but I am going to put that right away in my, this is the stuff I have teddy bears. This is all, everything in this here pouch is all about teddy bears for my journal that I'm making. And so I'm going to put that right in there. So I won't lose that, and it'll be right there ready, because this is all teddy bear stuff that's going into my Bernstein Bears book. I love that. Thank you. Oh, look at this fall. This is fall napkins. How pretty. And Christmas napkins. Ooh, those are pretty. Real pretty. I love the little gingerbreads. Oh my gosh, little gingerbread boys. And then in here, oh, look at that. Oh, jokers. Just this, this morning, I was finding more jokers in all my, oh my gosh. Okay, these are jokers. Look how pretty. I have so many jokers in my joker journal. I got to do a video on my joker journal and show you all how it's coming along. Oh, and then this is a playing card, but she put, um, washi tape on there. I love this. And look at here, dreamer. Dare to dream. Look at that. Nope, you can't see it there. Look how pretty is that. Do I got this camera upside down? Oh yeah, it needs to go this way. I got I gotta turn my camera around. I'll do that before I start another video. But right now, you're going to just have to look at me upside down. Well, you don't look at me upside down because you can't even see me. Oh, yeah, my hands, instead of coming from the bottom, are coming from the top. Okay, that's okay. Now, let's see. Let's open this one. Gosh, I feel like I should put all these under the tree. But do you know what? I don't have that kind of patience. No, patience for me. Gosh, jeez, me, Christmas. I don't have that. Look how pretty. This one is taped with unicorn tape. Oh, and there's the unicorn tape. Oh, look at that. That is the unicorn washi tape. I was just seeing on there how cool that was. And that, that's what's in here. Thank you, Tammy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what's this? Fairy feet. Look at this flower on the top and a button. 
flower in a button and it's purple on the paper clip. And it says fairy feet. Let me look at this. Let me check. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at them little tiny feet. Can you see them? Those are all little tiny feet. Those are fairy feet. I love them. Those are so cute. Oh, they're cute. They're adorable. They're wonderful. Oh my. I don't have fairy feet on my. I got some big old clod hoppers. Yeah, when they were passing out feet, I went in the clod hopper aisle and took clod hoppers instead. Okay, I love them fairy feet. Okay, let's see. Let's look in this one. Let's look in this one. I'm tearing my tissue paper all up. But it's purple with glitter. So I could still use pieces of these of this purple with glitter in in a collage. Now this is all wrapped in bubble wrap. This is all bubbly wrappy. It is and tape. Bubble wrap. Tape. Tammy, what'd you put in here? Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Tammy babbling books. Oh, oh my gosh. Tammy. I cannot believe. Look at this. These are the little tiny um, cups that are amazing. These are amazing, and I every time I go into the Dollar Tree, I look to see if they have these cups. Never do they have them in my Dollar Tree. So I think, okay, next time they'll have them. Nope. And so now look at that. There's eight of them in there. These are the most awesome for my dot paint. When I do my dot painting, I got just a little bit of paint in one of these. And I was even telling my my friend last night when she was doing my nails because she wants because this is like a dip thumb something you put powder on and then some kind of activator and I was telling her about these cups I said you can't never find them but they sell them because she wants little because she got her um powder but it come in like a flat bigger cup and I said you can find deeper ones at the Dollar Tree sometimes but look at that that's wonderful thank you so much Oh my gosh, this is, these are like finding gold. That's like finding gold because men, they just never have them. Not at my Dollar Tree anyway. Maybe if I, at, although in driving distance from my house, I think there's about five Dollar Trees. But, um, but, but yeah, maybe if I went to all five. Oh, I, I bet if I wait till after Christmas, but even still, that's eight more that I have, eight more than I had. So, oh my gosh, look at this handmade unicorn dream catcher. Oh my word. It is believed that each carefully woven web will catch your dreams in the night. The bad spirit dreams will get caught in the web and disappear with the morning sun. The good spirit dreams will find their way to the center. Dream catchers are believed to bless the sleeping ones with pleasant dreams. Good luck and harmony throughout their lives. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I've been reading, oh, my book from Stacy sent me a book about unicorns. I just got that the other day. I should have brought that in here. And I've been reading about unicorns. And then, and it talks about the unicorns that were written. There's, um, there's uh, about unicorns in the Bible. There is about, um, Shakespeare wrote about unicorns. Um, unicorns were, have been studied and written about back in the 1300s or something like that, way back. I mean, it's just not a fad. Unicorns are not just a fad. Unicorns are real. And you know, if you were to just sit and concentrate, you sit and like if you're sitting, like my thing is I love to do is in at dusk, 
Sit down at the beach. Sit on a picnic table. Just look at the water and look at the ripples in the water as the sun is setting or like right after the sun sets. And you watch and you just quietly block off block out any sounds that are around, around you. Just concentrate. Concentrate on the water, the ripples. And I guarantee you, you will see a sparkle. You will see a sparkle out of nowhere. Is that the water unicorn, would you say? Would you say? I do. I, I don't tell everybody because I don't want people to think I've done gone bananas. I have gone. Oh my God! Oh, look at this! Oh my gosh, Tammy! Look at this! Can you wait a minute? Let me put it. Can I put this right here so you can see? There is a one, two, three, four fairies. Five fairies, mushrooms, the wings, fairy wings, and the fairy stardust. Oh, and look at that. It's like a butterfly, but it's almost like fairy wings, too. Oh, my gosh, do I love this. Believe in the magic. Have a magical day. Oh, thank you so much. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Think, oh my gosh. This is amazing. And then in here, let's see. Please open and look at the inside of the folder for you to keep. Please open. And look at the inside of the folder. Okay, inside of the folder. Okay, so we're opening it up as directed. Oh, look. Oh, look at this folder. Oh, look at that. Is that beautiful? Oh, is that beautiful? Wouldn't this make an awesome page in one of my journals for me to keep? Oh, she is beautiful. And see, that's a real unicorn. That, thank you so much for that. Oh, and look at all these stencils. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, they're numbered. There must be eight. They're numbered. One. This one's got all words. All words, celebrate, love, thoughts, get it, girl, today's plan, dreams. Oh, my goodness. And look at, oh, oh, these are cute. They got emojis on them. They have the um, one through zero. They got the, um, what do you call them? Bubbles, word bubbles. Oh, look, at, I am going to love using these. I love the size of them, and I am going to love using these. These are awesome. Oh, this is like transportation, boat, and an airplane, a hot air balloon. Look at these things, pencil, an arrow, telephone. Wi-Fi, envelope, music notes. I love that one. Oh, I love the headphones. Oh, these, I'm going to use these a lot. In fact, I have been, oh, this is all, 
Okay, not all sports. Here's like leaves and hearts, but then there's bowling and a football and a soccer ball, a basketball. There's a rainy day and an umbrella, lightning. There is everything, a snowflake, the sunshine, the moon. I have been working on some tag, just embellishments. And these being little like this are going to be so awesome to work on my embellishments. There's another balloon flower that looks like a Mandela right there. I've been working on my mandalas. Oh, I'm loving. I'm learning so much about the mandalas from Meta Mandela Booksmith. Art and Booksmith. Christy is her name. I'm learning basically from her. I watch her religiously. And um, I, in fact, just bought some molds. And my husband is going to make me some rocks to get. So I have round rocks to do my to do my uh, mandalas but I love this now see and then that one this here if I were to paint that right in the center of a rock and then work out from it at, for a mandala and this too this one too anything round like that that I could go out and you can use other shapes too but so so far I I'm a beginner I'm a beginner so I'm working hard at that. I love it. I just love that. And look at this. is. I love that little folder. And that's just going to keep my... There's eight of them. So I can put four on each side. And I think it will still close up nicely. Yep, look at that. So that will hold my my stencils. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is just beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this. All of this beautiful things. And the um the tape, the the um stamps the little the little and that's what I need these for is my mandala paints this is beautiful oh my gosh Tammy this is gorgeous this is gorgeous oh my gosh and my fairy feet she had all that in that envelope and these are amazing I love this my jokers go my joker journal napkins beautiful napkins i love these flowers and all of these oh my gosh so many of those that she sent that's these are amazing oh and these butterflies these are going to be fun to use. And so when they go in a journal, I'll probably have it to where I won't glue this part down. I'll leave it to where the backside can be journaled on. I love them. And these, I love this paper. This is like a heavy it's not a cardstock. It's lighter than cardstock, but heavier than paper. Oh, it goes this way because the birds are this way. Those are beautiful. These are gorgeous. I love these. This is the kind of stuff I look for when I go into the thrift shops, etc., and um, this is the kind of stuff I look for. I went to the thrift shop yesterday only because every time I've got to go get blood work, I go to the thrift shop afterwards. It's my reward for having to be picked upon with a sharp object. And um, I found some neat things. I found some more playing cards and cards for games. And so those are the things that are going to be um, 
in my Saturday sale. See, and what I'm doing now, every Saturday, I'm going to put up a Saturday special, and it'll be something that I'm going to offer um, for sale. Last week, last Saturday, I put up my offer of um, my Saturday sale was, um, my Saturday sale was my, oh, you know what? I was just doing something, and then I, I can't think and do something at the same time. Can I? I was just pulling this forward here so you could see my... So beautiful. So beautiful. i got to turn my camera around. I realize I had it upside down. But anyway, um, on Saturdays, I have my Saturday celebration and my Saturday special where I'm going to offer one thing. Last week, last Saturday, I offered a um, collection of things to make um, signatures for a journal. Like here's the one that I'm working on. Everything that you see in this journal was in that is in that um, in that collection of of things for a junk journal. All of these things you see here are in that journal. And so there's there's images, there's there's vintage cards, there's vintage um, vintage postcards, vintage pages. Um, there's also pages that are not vintage. There's sewn um, ephemeras. There's um, this is vintage. There's so many things like this. This was my very first. This is this is vintage, which is a um, a um, card catalog card. And I'm not finished with my book yet, but I was just putting this together just to show how the different ways that you can actually use all of those. A lot of coffee dyed, a lot of Kool-Aid dyed, a lot of sprayed, a lot of clusters. There is so much in that package and I still have, I think I have three packages left that didn't sell yet. But I, as long as you see the video and it's still up, there's vellum. Um, this here come out of a Sears and Roebuck catalog, a page out of that. But that's just all the things. There's I have a couple pages put in there, three or four pages of pages that came out of a catalog that only has precious moments. And so I've been fussy cutting those pictures out. And putting them in. Some of my pages are just sewn together. There's another precious moments. And this is the kind of thing that you will find. Paper bags. Um, and I'm not finished with mine yet. I've got the all of these images that are on this front cover. And is these are all all of this is in the package. So this whole book, except I use two pages of paper that I put together to make the right size of papers that I just had so I could make the right size cover and then I um, cut images out of the pages that were in the um, that were in the kit to cover it. So this is definitely a jumbled journal. When you put a jumbo journal, then it's not a junk journal. It's not an art journal. It's not a writing journal. It's just all of the above. So, but look at there. See, I love the images from the Precious Moments catalog. Look at these. So, and there's so many because I think I put four pages in each one. And, um, and like these here pages are already sewn together and these, not the page, but the embellishment to go on the page. And these were made by a friend. And she gave them to me to add to my collections. So a lot of cards. I love using game cards as, as pocket fillers. 
they're just fun and I love fun okay so that's that this wasn't supposed to happen right here this was I just kind of I just kind of get my I, I might clear my desk off and do another little video in a little while because I've got some more to do I've been working what I'm working on right now is different embellishments and tags and mainly I'm doing these um, paper clip embellishments and I started making them with a book and I was um, book pages and I started reading them book pages and I thought oh my gosh I cannot use this book and so I had to throw it in the garbage I threw the book in the garbage because I could have blacked out all the bad words but that would have been too much marker too much sharpie for that but see, so for so I've used this book, and this book is all in German. So um, this book, if it's look at there, it says "damn it." Hmm, it's all German anyway. So "damn it" in German must be something different. But um, so that's what I've been doing, and this is all in German. So if there's any bad language there, I don't know it. So, but that's what I've been working on. So, but now these little stencils. I'm going to be able to use them stencils on these because they're little. These stencils. I love it. Okay, I'm going to let you go. No, I'm not. i got to read to you. Got to read to you. i got to read, read, read. Read. Just a minute. Let me see. What should I read? Um... I wonder how long it would take me to read this book. Let me see. It just really does not. Uh, you know what? I'm going to read this book to you just a minute. i got to be able to read upside down. Um, okay, wait. Can I turn this camera? Okay, y'all close your eyes for a minute. Let me see if I can call, turn this camera around because I got it all goofy. Wait a minute here. Ah, no, I can't turn it around. Okay, this is an amazing book. It's called The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Um, celebrating 15 years of the dot, and there is actually International Dot Day, International Dot Day, which you can look at up at www.thedotclub.org. Now, I learned about this book also from, from my little friend, Christy, the Mandela Art. Okay, now let me see if I can go this, through this quickly. The dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed the marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and, and studied it carefully. She says, hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. So there she is signing her name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. There it is. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors 
and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If you can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Or she says, if I can make a little dots, I can make big dots. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Look at all them dots. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're really a great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti started, no, Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, please sign it. So what do you think about that? That's where you start. If you say you cannot draw, you're fooling yourself. Because yes, you can draw. If you can draw a dot, you can draw. Okay, love you guys. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. That would be after I clean off my desk. God bless.